this is Sanu and welcome back to my channel Tuna Talks. So guys, as you all can see, I'm standing in my kitchen and in this video, I'm going to show you three breakfast recipes which you can cook under 10 minutes. And guys, trust me, these recipes are so delicious that I'm sure you all are going to give it a try. So yes, let's get started. The first recipe is a pav bhaji. It sounds quite complex but trust me guys we are going to make it under 10 minutes. The best part about this recipe is that it is extremely easy and tastes really delicious. So we'll start by boiling few potatoes. I have a habit of washing potatoes before boiling. I believe that it makes the overall process very neat and clean. While the potatoes are getting boiled up, I'm going to take few veggies. I really like the taste of onions because I believe they really add a nice crunch to the bhaji. I'll just chop the onions in small dices. This recipe don't really require a lot of ingredients but you can add any vegetable that you like like tomatoes, peas, capsicum, anything which is lying around the house. On the other hand, now that the potatoes are boiled up, we need to remove the outer peel. For mashing the potatoes, I generally like to use a fork. Now that I'm done with all the preparations, it's time to put on a pan and add some oil into it. Once the oil gets heated up, add in chopped onions and green chilies. At this point, I'm going to add in boiled mashed potatoes and give it a good mix. Since I'll be using a ready-made bhaji masala, I'll just add some salt and red chilli powder. Now I'll be giving it a good mix and add in Haldi Ram's bhaji masala. This ready-made masala is ready to eat, but I like to give it my personal touch by adding few mashed potatoes and onions. I'll check if it's available online so that I can leave its purchasing link in the description box below. Now add in half a cup of water to give perfect consistency to the bhaji. Next put up a tawa on medium flame and heat the pav. There is absolutely no limit on the amount of butter you can add in this dish. The more butter you add, the more tasty it becomes. Now we are done and it's time to plate our dish. I think using a ready made mix masala makes the overall process a lot more easier. Next, we are going to make pancakes with white sugar and I can have this breakfast almost every day. We'll start by taking a pancake mix. It is easily available in the market. I'll, you know, again put the link in the description box below. Take about 4 spoons of this mix and add in some water. I don't really measure the amount of water I add. Just make sure that you need the perfect running paste like consistency. Now heat up a non-stick pan and grease it with olive oil. Now pour the mixture in the center of the pan. You can make a small sized pancake but for my breakfast I like to have two medium sized pancakes. 
Once you see bubbles coming up, it's time to flip the side. Within a minute, this is how crispy the pancake will get, at which point it is completely ready to be eaten. Generally, people like to use maple syrup with pancakes, but I feel honey is a much more healthier option. Since the pancake mix doesn't contain any sugar, it contains zero amount of sugar. So I'll just like to sprinkle some icing white sugar on the top and that's it. Our pancakes are completely ready to be eaten. And now the last recipe for this video is a crispy bread omelette. This recipe is really very healthy and high in protein as well. We'll start by taking two eggs. I'm going to break the eggs in a bowl. Now before start cooking the omelette, I'm going to take two brown breads. You can also use multigrain bread to make the recipe even more healthy. Now I'm just going to spray some olive oil and I'll keep the bread in toaster for about 1-2 to two minutes. Now while the bread is getting toast, let's start making the omelette. Heat a pan and put a little bit of mustard oil. I always use mustard oil while cooking eggs but you can, you know, if you don't like the taste of mustard oil, you can use olive oil over here. I believe mustard oil really enhances the taste. Next put the gas on the medium flame and pour the eggs. Now add a little bit of rock salt and some chili flakes. You can also add shredded cheese if you like the taste of it. Now let it cook for a minute and start folding one side. Again it completely depends on your taste. You can flip the side and cook it from the other side as well. You can see the omelette looks nice and crisp. The trick is to cook it on a low flame. On the other side, the toast is also done. So you're ready to do the plating part. Cut it in two halves and serve it with the omelette. So guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope you all enjoyed watching this. Do let me know which is your favorite recipe and in case you give it a try, then please do share your feedback, your experience in the comment section below. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, all take care. Bye.